Okay, in this example, we're given that 10 of y is equal to 3 over 4. Determine without a calculator sine of 2y and sine of 4y. So again, if we're given that a ratio is equal to a constant, it's really very simple. You just go and draw a triangle using that information and, and then work from there. So um, that's our opposite, that's our adjacent, and this is how our hypotenuse. Tan is opposite over adjacent, so tan is 3 over 4, okay? And my adjacent is then the square root of 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16, so this is equal to square root of 25, and that is just 5. Okay, 3, 4, and 5, one of those beautiful triangles, and uh, let's do sine of two, uh, 2y. Now, we only have y there. We don't have the angle 2y. Just because I double the angle doesn't mean everything else doubles. That's not at all what happens. So uh, what we can do is just express this in terms of sine of y because uh, or cos of y or whatever we can get as long as we our angle is in terms of y. Not difficult. Let's see. We have that sine of 2y is 2 sine y cos y. Okay, and 2 sine y is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so that's 3 over 5. And cos y is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. So we have, without a calculator, what a simple ex uh, question. 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24 over 25. Okay, if tan y is 3 over 4, then sine of double that y is 24 over 25. Isn't that pretty? Okay, how about si sine of 2y? Now this is one of those that we, that, that we can't just go and, and, and make it simple because, um, well I suppose we can, we can put 2 sine 2y cos of 2y. So let's look at a few ways I could do this. Now I've already done sine of 2y, so I have sine of 2y but I don't have cos of 2y, but that's okay. Cos, cos of theta is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine of theta. So, I mean, that's not a problem. I can, I can just replace this with 1 minus uh, sine, sine squared of theta. So, just, just do that. So, let's do that. I can either have 2 as sine 2 theta I got as 24 over 25 times the square root of 1 minus um, 24 over 25 squared. Okay, and uh, that's not going to be pretty, is it? Okay, so without a calculator, this, this might not work. But let's see, we have um, 2 times 20, that's 48 over 25 times the square root of uh, this becomes 1 minus 24 squared. What is 24 squared? Um, well, I'm not allowed to use a calculator, so let's see. 12 squared is equal to 144, so 24 is 2 times 12, so if I square this, I get 2 squared is 4 times 144. Okay, so 4 times 144 double is 288. 288 is 5 uh, 288 is 576. Okay, so that's 576 over 25 squared. Okay, 25 squared. I'm not doing 25 squared, which is 625, but I'm going to take the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom in just a moment. Um, and I am lying when I say that this is the value. Okay, that's control y this must be 25 squared so this is 625 minus that and that gives me 48 over 25 times the square root of the difference here is is 49 
over square root of 20. Okay, that gives us then 48 over 25 times the square root of 49 is 7. Square root of 25 squared is just 25. So 7 times 48 over 25 times 25 is 625. Now just 7 times 48, 7 times uh, 8 is uh, 56. Carry the 5. 7 times 4 is what 28 plus uh, 5 is 33 33 there we go okay and that's probably can't be simplified more than that but there's there's the expression without using a calculator could we have done it differently in, um was there another way well of course there's obviously uh, there's there's often a lot of ways so one other way we could have done was to say okay well let's take this expression um sine 2y and express sine 2y and cos 2y in their simplest forms okay so then we would have had 2 times sine 2y would become 2 sine y cos y and cos 2y I, I could really choose from whatever I wanted I could maybe maybe let's use 2 cos squared y minus 1 Okay, that's, that's another one we could have chosen. And now sine of y in our triangle, remember we have 3, 4, 5. And uh, sine of y is opposite over um, hypotenuse. So if we replace that in here, then we get 2. 2 sine y opposite over hypotenuse is 3 over 5. Cos is 4 over 5 because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Um, 2, now we have 4 over 5 squared. Okay, let's just make that 16 over 25. Skip some steps. S 16 over 25 minus 1. Okay, and, and now we just simplify that. What we do we get? 2 times 2 uh, is 4 times 3 is uh, 12 times 4 is 48. 48 over 25 okay because it's 5 times 5 and then on this side what do we get 2 times 16 is 32 over 25 minus 1 would be 25 over 25 so 32 minus 25 that would be 7 so here we have 7 over 25 and well, look at that this simplified back into into what we had here isn't it okay now we've 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 got this again so uh, that's well that part at least uh, 48 times 7 is uh, we've already done that 3 th 336 over 625 there we go it, it you can see it's not it's not difficult it's maybe complex it's some 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 things that maybe make it a little bit more difficult than than it um, the work we've done so far but I, I think it's actually quite fun I, I I must admit I enjoy this basic arithmetic so I'm not sure you can you agree but I really hope you do okay uh, see you guys in the next example